it's a common requirement nowadays where you need the map capabilities inside your power application hi everyone this is prashant choudhury i welcome you all to my channel classy power app in this video we'll be talking about the map inside the power app if i talk around 2 3 years back we were not having any direct control that can handle the map inside the power app so we used to add the image control and on the above of the image control we used to have one either the bing map api or the google map api in order to show the map on the image control but now we have the direct control available in the canvas editor from which we can use the map capabilities inside the power app so in this example i just try to show you how we can use that component inside our power application and how can we actually take the leverage of this okay so without wasting any time i'm just navigating to my screen okay so we need to create the application so we go here and we create any first make the duplicate of this not reload actually duplicate okay and as the map needs some data that would be visible okay so we need the base as well so we create one table first okay so let's create one table and let's say table name would be map test table and enable attachment save it i've created the table now we need to create the some column because inside if you would like to point some address inside your map you need to provide some variables values like the latitude value or the longitude value or the where that particular location name okay so that data i'm just trying to store inside the table okay and meanwhile to that we're just opening one application the canvas application and we are using the tablet layout only so map test application here this and here we got our table is now ready now what we do we create the column okay so it's the modern view of this table okay so we create the column from here and let's say our column name is uh, latitude because in order to show the particular place inside our map we need some values that the latitude values and the longitude values okay so we latitude lat and we are making it the data type of it to be a uh, float because latitude values and longitude values would be in the decimal form okay so we'll try the data type it to be float only and up to i am just making it to up to four places of decimal okay so save it okay so we are here on the application and now we need one more column that stores the my longitude value okay long and the data type would be numeric and it would be float only and the decimal place same for the four decimal places okay and i'm using the name as my location name okay so now good now i try to add some data okay so i have already maintained some data inside one of my excel here i having the name and their corresponding longitude value and the latitude value okay so we'll try to just add this data only okay so here we need let's take an example of this location delhi hello delhi next location is my indrapuram this location is my indrapuram next location let's take an example of lucknow and let next option is my noida okay okay and i need to just paste the latitude longitude values only let's try a whole at a single time let's try it out it works so 
1373 for the look now okay and let's try the same for this as well for the longitude values okay what is that just remove all the stuffs okay uh and we need some latitude and longitude values for Lucknow as well so we'll search on the google no okay first let's remove this particular row okay let's try let's try whether data would be there or not okay we get the data great now i'm looking to just delete this data because it is not having any okay let's add any value that takes an example of around that it would be a uh, 77 point uh, it would be around let's say 50 i'm just bringing some random values okay oh, pass it here on lucknow latitude and longitude values nice so this would be my longitude value write the random values and the another one would this is my latitude value it okay great my data is ready now okay now i'll come to my application and here in the application let's insert one label and give it a name as map map and make it a good size 50 okay and inside the media if i scroll it down i can see we have the map control available okay just click on this and once you add this image control map control sorry map control you need to provide the database for the particular control okay so for what is my database i'll add my this list as a database so my list name is map test map test list okay so i'll write map test map test tables okay so because it takes the plural name okay so map test table got it i just expand this one so that it would be on the complete screen okay so here i have multiple features for this particular control here you can see that much so what i'll do i simply start making the view of this to be active view okay because inside the active view all rows would be visible by default okay and inside later on we i simply scroll it down remove this one show current location and these are the current location latitude values and longitude values okay so let's try what is the latitude value and longitude value of my present system so i'll write latitude location dot latitude and i control c control v this is my longitude and this is actually a function that location is the function that can provide you the your geographical location okay longitude okay. and i just simply copy this one i'm just passing the hard 
uh, values you can pass if you want like the dynamic values as well where is mine yes current location attitude value is this one longitude value is this one only so i enable this and if i need to go to the advanced and here if i scroll it down i'm not getting the scroll bar I need to search search oh yes i got it i if i scroll it down i can see at the bottom let me just show you yes item label item latitude and item longitude here i need to pass to those values Okay, so for the item label, I want it to be my name. Here for name. And here I'll write the latitude. Here you can see I got my some suggestion. Longitude. Longitude. And so if I see I get something on the complete map okay so inside India I can see those values see here my current location that is providing by this control okay I need to just pause it because I need to just refresh data okay and I'm just running out out of this out of the time so guys here you can see my points are somewhere at not at the right place so something is wrong I need to just check my database so my data and my values that to longitudes and my Excel okay so here you have noticed inside the, the i have passed the latitude values inside my longitude column okay so i need to just fix it out so how i make it the bulk editing i need these values to be here let's try it Not x no, it won't work let's try it like that Control c it is my longitude values okay and these are my latitude values v okay and i also pass one more column that would be giving me the color of my pointer okay so i like color it's line of text i'm using let's try it out and just make it as the leaf as a red color as green color gray blue okay yes just check it out here whether the values are printed or not okay it's blue that I accept now now I come back here and I refresh my data I refresh my data and see things has changed now so on the map control I got my scroll bar here I have the, some things we have added all this stuff so here you can see in item label as I have marked that item label to the name of my table name column of my table okay the latitude values as the latitude column longitude values as longitude columns item address as same i'll write the same okay it was the name only and for the item color i use this one i have one more field that was 
color okay let's try now if i zoom it out okay i guess it is not showing me the right colors of mine let's refresh one more time okay so it is it is not taking the address for now maybe some issues there will with my color with my colors okay so i'll just remove that particular things item color as to let's say black yes okay right okay so here you can see i've got the colors and the pointers okay if i hover on this if i make more zoom i find my locations here okay so here you can see i've got my locations and the pointers that are pointing towards the location that i have set it in my database okay if you wanted to show you then just come down and make the map, map type to be road and satellite one because that and the show card says when i hover on this okay now let's try if i hover on here i see nothing i'm not seeing it's maybe loading it's not showing because since this control is completely new so we need more about this enable sharing everything is good now yes good let okay so here you can see how the map is actually working it will also show you the number of the entities that belongs to your database belongs to particular location here i can see i have two entities from this location if i zoom it more i get these two entities at different different places okay if i hover on this i get the name the things that are associated inside my description okay so yes that is how we can use the map control inside our power app also this control has the more flexibility it can also show you the complete road complete uh, i would say the complete route from one place to another so there are many more capabilities inside this so in the first video of this map i'm just showing you how we can use this how can we actually take the leverage of this control inside of our power app in the later videos i'll give you the more advanced features about this control okay so stay tuned guys so thanks for watching thank you man have a nice day